The Pacifier Tree by Uncle Amos. Johnny lived in a big red brick building on a sunny tree-lined street in the big city of Boston. Every day Johnny woke up, ate his breakfast, brushed his teeth, and went to preschool with Mom. He loved to play with all of the other three-year-olds who lived on his block. But no matter what he did, Johnny always had his pacifier. He sucked on his pacifier in the grocery store. He sucked on his pacifier in the laundromat. He even sucked on his pacifier at his friend Olive's house. Wherever Johnny went, everyone heard him coming long before they saw him. Suck, 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 went the pacifier. One day, Johnny's mother said, Johnny, I think you're getting too big for that pacifier. I don't think so, said Johnny. Suck, 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 went the pacifier. Big boys don't suck on pacifiers, Mom said. I do, Johnny replied. All the big boys will laugh at you, Johnny's mother warned. I don't care, said Johnny. Mother thought and thought. How could she stop Johnny from sucking on his pacifier? She heard the sound of Johnny's pacifier coming from the playset outside. Johnny was climbing with Olive. Olive had a noisy pacifier, too, and together they made a lot of noise. Suck, 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 suck. Suddenly, Mom had an idea. She called all of the other mothers in the area and told them about her plan. That night, Mother told Johnny about an amazing tree. It grows a little whenever a little boy puts away his pacifier, she told him. By the time all the little boys are grown up, the pacifier tree is so big they can build a tree house in it. And she showed him a book full of pictures of the most beautiful tree houses that Johnny could imagine. Johnny's eyes shone. I want one of those, Mom, he cried. The tree will only grow when you give up your pacifier for good, Mother told him. Johnny thought giving up his pacifier would be hard. He couldn't remember a time when he didn't have his pacifier. But then he looked at the beautiful pictures in Mom's book and knew what he had to do. The next day, Mom and Johnny got up early. Mom packed a lunch. Johnny put his pacifier in a box with a letter he wrote just for the tree. Hello, dear tree. Mom told me about you. Today we're going to help you grow. We're all giving up our pacifiers so that you'll be big. Love, Johnny. Mom and Johnny met with all the other mothers in the neighborhood. All of Johnny's friends were with them. Together they all walked to the park. Right in the middle of the park, there was a tiny brand new sapling just getting its first green leaves. Johnny took his pacifier out of the box and hung it on a branch. He stuck the letter on the branch, too. One by one, all of the children did the same thing. Every day, Mom and Johnny saw more and more pacifiers on the tree. When all of the neighborhood children heard the story of the pacifier tree, they all wanted to help, too. They came to the park and put their pacifiers on the tree just like Johnny did. At first, it was hard to not have a pacifier, but whenever he missed it, Johnny thought about the pacifier tree growing big and strong. Soon, he didn't even think about his pacifier anymore. Every year, more and more children left their pacifiers on the pacifier tree. Soon the tree grew up big and strong, just like Johnny. The Pacifier Tree by Uncle Amos Narrated by Rick Schultz